Meanwhile, Congress has finally voted to approve a $900 billion COVID relief as a part of a broader government spending bill. The bill, which includes another round of stimulus checks for many Americans, now heads to President Trump's desk to be signed into law. ABC's Elizabeth Schultz is in Washington with the latest. Help is finally on the way for American households and businesses struggling to make ends meet during the pandemic, and not a moment too soon. The House and Senate overwhelmingly approving $900 billion in COVID relief. The American people have waited long enough. The bill extends emergency jobless benefits and an eviction moratorium that were set to expire at the end of the year. It adds $300 in weekly federal unemployment benefits and provides nearly $300 billion in aid to small businesses, plus more than $8 billion for distributing the vaccine. And it includes a one-time payment of up to $600 for individuals making up to $75,000 per year. So a family of four could receive $2,400. The Treasury Secretary saying those stimulus checks could show up in Americans' bank accounts as soon as next week. Much needed relief, but for some, too little, too late. I personally think it's long past due. $600 isn't going to help a lot of the average Americans just trying to get by. The COVID relief deal was months in the making and comes attached to a $1.4 trillion spending bill to keep the government funded through September. Up against the clock with government funding set to run dry, lawmakers raced to pass a one-week stopgap spending bill to buy more time for the larger piece of legislation to go into effect. President Trump approved that temporary extension and is now expected to sign the bigger spending bill, including COVID relief, into law. President-elect Joe Biden applauding the deal, while Democrats insist more aid will need to be approved under the Biden administration. Today is a good day, but it is certainly not the end of the story. While some Americans could start receiving their stimulus checks before the new year by direct deposit, the bill gives the IRS a deadline of January 15th to send out the payments. Elizabeth Schulze, ABC News, Washington.